And in the least shocking news of the day, Luke Walton finally uh, is out as the Lakers head coach. Everybody saw this coming from a mile away. Dunzo, he's going to be hired in Sacramento before the end of the show. Yeah, he was uh, 98 wins, 148 losses since he took over the Lakers in April 2016. This year they Pretty sucked. They were 37 and 45, finished 10th place in the West. Right. Magic Johnson quit on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We knew that Luke Walton was, it was just a matter of time, although officials in the Lakers organization are saying it was a mutual decision that he wasn't fired. He didn't quit. They decided, you know what, it's best for everybody to leave, which, I, I, come well, on. I got, I'll be honest with you, though. I can believe that. Obviously, the Lakers wanted Luke Walton gone. Right. I think equally Luke Walton wanted out of the Luke, yeah, Luke Walton wanted it out of that situation. seems dysfunctional right yeah. now. Uh, so, like, you're right. He'll probably get hired as the coach of the Kings. Uh, there will be jobs for him. Don't worry about Luke Walton. The interesting thing, though, is there are a lot of critics who are saying Luke Walton isn't the problem. Magic Johnson wasn't the problem. Jeannie Buss is the problem. And one of the guys who's banging that drum the loudest yeah, is Michael Rappaport, who says that Jeannie Buss, whose father bought the Lakers in 19... And, and wow, it's so all, it's so weird that for Michael Rappaport to have a strong opinion. Yeah, it's so unlike him. <laughs> Look, Dr. Jerry Buss bought the Lakers in 1979. Yeah. Uh, Jeannie Buss was put in an executive role and eventually took over the team as president when he passed away in 2013, okay? So she's been running the Lakers since then. Michael Rappaport says that Jeannie Buss has been running the Lakers like a family business, like a mom and pop organization and not a multi billion dollar corporation. And he says the onus is on her to fix the team and to stop, you know, messing around and get serious. Run this thing like a like a Fortune 500 company. Take a look. Here's the point about the Lakers. Right. Jeannie Buss, everybody loves you. I love you. I've met you. You've been nothing but nice to me. Stop running the Lakers like it's a mom and pop donut shop. It's not a, a little shoe store down in downtown in L.A. It's big business. Okay. You gotta hire a killer. You gotta hire some kick-ass people. And you gotta come to terms with the fact that the circus is in town now. The circus is in town. Let him run the show. Let the king run the show. Give him three years to do what he wants to do. Hopefully you won't gotta go out of business. You'll win a ring. If not, cut your losses because at this point, he made Magic Johnson cry. Yeah, here's the where I disagree <laughs> with Michael Rappaport, though. He's saying that she's running the, the, the Lakers like a mom and pop yeah. business. Like her brother, Jim, was the general manager, and she realized that he couldn't get the job done, and well, she fired him a couple of years ago and brought yeah. in Magic nah, Johnson. The reason he's saying, right, and, and that's why Michael Rappaport is saying she's running it like a family business, because instead of bringing in a competent executive, she brings in a former great from the team. Instead of bringing in... Oh, wait, 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 I know, I know that's, or that's, other that's, successful businesses doesn't that's mean not, you can but, run a But the Lakers have brought in greats to run their franchise before, and it's worked out just fine for them. Like they like it didn't turned, hear, didn't hear. I know it didn't hear, but that's not the. I, really, to be honest with you, the way Michael Rappaport is off is that Jerry Buss always ran the Lakers like a mom and pop shop, always. Always did. He ran. He, he he promoted. He promoted guys like we talk about Magic Johnson's place within the Lakers. It was Jerry West before Magic Johnson, who was a Lakers great. Yes. And that was a guy from inside. With Jerry West has always had his family around. Jeannie's always had a job. It's just not working now. The best team in, in football over the last 20 years is what team? Patriots. The Patriots. And, and who runs that team? Robert Kraft. And who's his right hand man on that team? Jonathan Kraft. His son. Yeah. He runs that team like a mom and pop. It's a family no, business. No, 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 no. But here's the point. It's a missing. family business, and it's been the most successful. Successful business but, but they also they also empower the genius Belichick. yeah they empower the genius to kind of go do that Robert thing. Kraft's kid ain't doing a darn thing for that team he so sits in the box how do you know? and watches the game they would have exactly the same amount of wins doing so, they're doing something right I know uh, Evan, hold that on that guy is worth hold on hold on can I say one more thing yeah of course oh wait no you cannot say one more oh, thing oh wait you look cannot say one more thing <laughs> he made Magic Johnson cry if you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.